So I'm going to share what I've got so far and keep in mind I'm sort of feeling my way along with the instructions and the pictures. Uh, and I believe I'm on the right track here. Um, this is the new piece that comes with the kit. This is the piece that the um, Ooh, caliper will bolt to and here's the caliper you can see the bolt holes there and there there and there and it'll go on like that and the drum will be in the middle so uh, before the drum goes on and, and keep in mind this steering bar bolts in two places on the back and then this caliper mount bolts in the other two holes the picture made it look like it was kind of facing one way, but then when they showed the back side of it, I could see, oh yeah, that's how that works. So that kind of makes sense, and that's the only way it would go. So with that said, the next step, what did I do with that thing I had in my hand? This is an adapter. This adapts the spindle to a different size bearing, because what's going to be happening here is we're going to be putting a different bearing on here to make a different wheel fit this and I'm gonna go I'm kind of just loosely putting things together here but I'm gonna go back to here because I'm gonna want to use some Loctite on the adapter pack the inner wheel bearing with grease and install rotor install seal in the rotor so let's get the rotor out my rotor right here and in this case uh, a, a and J, or A and J, whatever it is, I'll make, I'll put this all, make this all clear later. But they didn't send me the rotors. Uh, I got them at the parts store. He said, you know, for the amount of money it's going to cost to ship them, you'd be better off just to buy them locally, which I've done here. So let's get this out. And it doesn't have bearings in it. I'm going to need to install the bearings. It does have the race in it. So, maybe I should install, maybe I should put this together a little bit and then cut the camera back. What I think is going to happen is that this bearing is going to go in the back of this wheel and then this is the seal and it goes in here and you need to grease your bearing and pack this with grease and then this seal goes in on the back side of that and then this other small bearing is going to go on the outside too and I'm going to try slipping that in place without grease and without the rear seal because the rear seal will need to be greased or the bearing will need to be greased before I put that seal in there but just so we can see how that goes this should fit onto that and they've got it backwards goes this way like that see how nice that fits and then this did y'all see that this bearing is the rear bearing goes into that and that slips on there nicely but it only goes into that after it's been put in the wheel so after it's greased I will put it in the wheel here and then I will take this uh, grease seal here. I'm just going to set it on there, but I'm not going to install it. So the grease seal will go into the back of the wheel. I'm not sure if it's like that or like that. I'm going to read, I'm thinking like that, but I'm going to read the instructions, but I'm not installing that yet. But that will go into there. And then, this other little bearing, keep in mind this is just a dry, a dry run, or a run through, or whatever you want to call it. The other bearing will go on the outside of that. So, it's the smaller one. And it's going to fit out here. Like that. So, I'm going to just it's going to fit out here 
like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this wheel on there. I'm going to slide that bearing in place. There's no grease and there's no seal right now. I'm just doing this to check the fit. So that will go on like that. This will go on like this. And that will turn like that. Now, I'm going to stick a nut on that just to hold it. Uh, I'll use, clean off and use the old nut. It might have a new nut that came with it, but I'm just going to stick this old one on there just for, just for temporary because we're going to, we're going to set the uh, pads and the caliper in place also before I enter, before I put anything together permanently. So, that's going to go somewhat, but not exactly like that. Okay, then the caliper has its own little rods. I'll get a couple of them. I think these have a name, something like a banjo rod or something, but I can't say for sure. And. They will fit like a caliper. For the caliper, these bolts go in from the back, like this. And they screw into that. This should be, this should be threaded here, so that these screw into place. And they are. Bring this over here so you can see that. See these come in from the back. They go through these little holes. They're threaded so they screw into place. And then your caliper, the back side of it rests back here and this front side rides on this part. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the caliper in place. This is not a permanent installation. I'll say that one more time. By the way, your brake line is going to connect here. No, nope, not there. The brake line is going to connect here. But we'll get to that later. So, we're just checking that everything kind of fits before we put it on. So, this goes back here. I'm not going to put it on more than that, but you can see how that fits. Now the other piece that's not in there is the, is the, uh, I don't call them shoes, they're pads, they're pads. So here's my parts list. We have rotors, bearings, and seals for a 76 Dodge Dart. We have calipers and pads from a 72 Charger, and we have hoses from a 76 Monte Carlo. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I don't have calipers. Uh, I guess I picked up the... I guess when I picked up the... Uh, the... Uh, I mean, I don't have pads. I have calipers. I don't have pads. So, I'm going to need some of those. I guess the other thing I ought to check is to make sure my hoses are going to fit these ones.